So this is just a quick bit of video about making the Pride Unicorns. And what you're going to get in your kit is you're going to always get double, double knit yarn. Whether you are making the standard double knit size like this one here where I've used double knit cream and then single strand double knit for the main. The Aran size, which is the next one up, where you can use an Aran yarn for the main, and you'll be using two strands of double knit held together to add your main and your tail on, or the chunky one. So in this one, I've used our chunky yarn in cream to do the main crochet for the unicorn. And then I'm adding this um, main on, actually using four strands together. And I just wanted to show the easiest way that I find to use four strands together. Um, and this is what's unique about Toff Yarns is the fact that two double knits held together equals an Aran weight, which is our next, th our next thickness. And two Aran weights held together equals our chunky thickness, which means that four double knits equals our chunky. So to do it with the... Um, chunky one what I find easiest is I'll take the outside of a ball of yarn like that and I'll also take the strand from the inside now I wouldn't recommend this method when you're doing lots and lots of things like knitting and um, it might be easier to actually split the yarn in that instance so you'd actually divide the ball but when you're just doing a little bit of surface crochet like adding the mane and tail on the easiest way so that you keep your balls intact for future projects is to just pull a strand from the inside and pull a strand from the outside. So you see there, I've got the inside of the ball and the outside of the ball from one of them and the inside of the ball and the outside of the ball from another one. So I hold all four strands together like that. Then I take my eight millimeter crochet hook. So the size that you'd use for chunky yarn and you slip stitch that in to the point at which you're going to work a main for the loop and then just holding all four together, slip stitch that through and then put on your main. So two, three, four, five. And I'm just using a chain. And then after you've done that loop, all you do is you go back down into the next stitch along or two along, subject to how many loops you're going to work and slip stitch that into position. And so you just attach your new color do your number of loops in that colour. So this one here is the um, Progress Pride flag. And so I've got the red, orange, yellow, green, blue, amethyst. And then I'm adding our chestnut and our black onto the bottom. And with the tail, I've opted to go for one loop in each of those colours as well. The likes of this one, the bi flag, I've gone for magenta, um, amethyst and blue on that one. So in terms of the number of loops that I do in each colour, it's, it's up to you how... Um, much main you want on that unicorn but just to give you a bit of an indicator for this one where I've got all the different colors I've done six loops um, per color on the main I've got eight loops here in each color when I've done three and I've gone for six loops of each color on the tail on that one as well um, so it's really nice and easy to add on the different colors um, to fly your flag this pride um, using the rainbow unicorn pattern